Hello, this is Mr. Kent from MrKent.com. And recently I was making a GoPro video using the Wi-Fi on the GoPro. And I heard some, on the audio when it was all finished, I heard some uh, sounds that sound kind of like a helicopter hovering overhead. And so I checked out everything I could on my camera, tried different ways of recording, and uh, uh, then I got on the internet, went to YouTube, and found out that there are all kinds of uh, issues with the uh, GoPro uh, 4. So, and that's what I happen to have. <clears throat> so uh, I went in and I thought, okay, I've got some editing software. Uh, I can edit that out. And uh, so that's what this video is about. You can send your GoPro camera back and uh, they will replace it, but it's a real headache. If you go on, uh, check some of the other videos, you can see that uh, it just, they, they're not uh, user-friendly when it comes to returning that, that uh, camera. So what I've done is I figured out what will work if you have a video editor, and um, I'll show you on two different ones. I've got uh, the... Um, uh, Wondershare Filmora, which is, uh, you, I just rent it for $19 a year. It's pretty cheap. And then I've also got the CyberLink uh, Power Director. So I'll show you on both of those how you go about editing out that audio. So uh, anyway, we'll go ahead and, and get started. First of all, I have a, um, a file that is right here and this this file has no no spoken audio but you can hear the uh, helicopter sound in the background noise so that's the file i'll be using and i've named it main it's an mp4 file that came from my gopro camera so the first thing we'll do is we'll uh go to the uh, filmora method because uh <laughs> that if you don't have editing software that's the cheapest way to go. You might even be able to find some other editing software, uh, but these are the two that I have, and they're they're pretty uh, common. By the way, the GoPro Studio does not have the ability to do what I'm going to show you, so uh, uh, we haven't I haven't been able to make it work. So here we go. We'll go ahead and get Filmora, uh, Wondershare Filmora started, and we'll load up my video. And there it is, and we'll bring it down into the timeline. And then I like it to spread out all the way across. It just makes life easier. Now, if I play this, maybe the uh, microphone will pick up my audio. Let me see. Let me turn this up way up all the way it is. Okay, so here we go. So you can hear the helicopter sound, I hope. I don't know if you actually can or not, but it's in there. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to save, using using Filmora, we're going to save uh, this as, or export it as an MP3 file. Okay, so we go to export. And I've already got it marked down here. You have your whole list. Normally I use uh, MP4. We're going to save it as an MP3 file and export it, and uh, we'll call it Audio Test One. Okay, and we'll export it. It won't take very long because it's a very short video. So there, that's done. We'll go ahead and close this, and we'll minimize that, and then we'll go over here. And we have our audio test one right there. Now I've also got, oh, by the way, you have to download this. It's a free download. Uh, um, Audacity. Uh, check Audacity uh, on the Internet. It's a free download, and it's an excellent program. So we bring up Audacity. I forgot to mention that. You have to have Audacity or some other editing pro, uh, audio editing program. And we'll go here and we'll go to file and we'll import an audio file. And of course, the one we want to import is the audio test here. We'll make that a little bigger. We'll import the audio test. It's an MP3 file. 
So as you can see, when you look at this, you can see all the little dots of the sound. Let's play it just so you'll know. You can see it going along there like that. So what we need to do is we need to go to Effect up here and come down to Noise Reduction. Okay, and oh, first of all, I, I've got to stop here. We have to select an area to sample. Then we'll go to Effect. We'll go to Noise Reduction. And uh, through experimenting, I found that the noise reduction should be at 28 decibels, the sensitivity at 7, and the frequency smoothing at 0. So 7 uh, times uh, 4 is 28, if you want to remember that. And we just want to reduce it. So we get our noise sample here. We get that noise sample. Then we click here to uh, uh, unselect that. We'll go back into Effects, come down to Noise Reduction, and just click on OK, and then uh, you'll see what happens to these lines. Now we have a nice smooth line with no dips in it, uh, no visible dips, and we'll play the audio again. And somebody could probably find a, a little blip or two there, but basically let's do it up here again. And if you look at the, the, the audio, the green, uh, it's not in there anymore. So that gets rid of it, but now we have to export this file. So go to File. We'll go to Export Audio. Whoops. Okay, there we go. And we're going to call this Audio Test 2 to differenti differentiate uh, from the other one. And we'll... Oh, there we go. Audio Test 2. And we'll save it. And then this comes up, and so we go ahead and we click on OK. And there, now it's saved. And we'll delete this and close it. And there's our audio test 2. Now we'll go back over here to our uh, Wondershare Filmora. And we're going to have to separate the audio and the video here. So we right click and we audio detach. And then this one, uh, now then we're going to import media files, and we're going to go with the audio test 2. Okay, we're going to bring that down here. Now we've got two audio files, the main and the audio test 2. We're going to uh, get rid of this one, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to delete that one and keep the other one. And now when we play our playback, we don't have any noise. So that, the next thing we do then with, uh, with our Femora is we go over here and we export. Only we export to MP4 and we just put final as our uh, exporting file. And we'll go ahead and click on export. Okay, got that done. We can close this. We'll minimize this and we'll go to our final and we'll play that video. You might be able to hear a plane flying over, but there's no more helicopter sound. Okay, so that's using Filmora, and uh, I'm going to make another video on how to use uh, um, PowerDirector. But Filmora is a real inexpensive program to use. So uh, I hope this helps. I want to thank you for watching, and uh, God bless you.